We get 18 meters of snow average a year here. We are on top of a mountain, so we operate our own 76 kilometer access road from the highway and 11 kilometers of that is on a glacier. So we operate a glacier road, we operate avalanche control, we operate um, snow clearing teams, and uh, it's just a really challenging environment up here. We have avalanche tech so to control blasts and do surveys support along this area. We move around 4,000 to 5,000 tons per day of ore from underground with additional 2,200 to 2,500 tons of development waste. Our deliverable was to bring new technology to the mine site to replace diesel engines. Our first priority was to improve the air, the atmosphere underground for our mining team. So trialing the Z50 truck for us was really the first step towards battery electrification of our fleet. The opportunity to partner with Sandvik became paramount for us to push through the trial and then ultimately move through with the Z50 procurement plan. Electrification was always something that was interesting to us. The trial started with just one truck, and uh, our goals were we set a set of KPIs at the beginning of the trial, and we wanted to see if that one truck was going to be able to get those KPIs, then transition our entire fleet over to uh, battery Z50s. Part of the electrification journey at Bruce Jack began with understanding and trialing a single Z50 truck in our haulage fleet. And we set up KPIs for that trial period to understand what its benefits will be from a productivity standpoint. Even though the environmental benefits are fairly well known with the reduction of heat and noise and um, removing diesel from the equation, we want to be sure that the business case was solid for proceeding with the Z50 truck fleet. So the primary KPIs that we looked at were payload, travel speeds and cycle times in comparison to the existing diesel fleet. Equipment availability was a key aspect of our assessment. Would the electric trucks and the electric technology be reliable enough and um, available in order to meet our production demands? So in each of the key KPI areas that we were looking at, we saw noticeable improvements compared to the existing diesel fleet. Overall, we saw a 22% decrease in our cycle times for the average haul cycle while we were doing the assessment. So we currently have a fleet of seven trucks with the eighth truck arriving here shortly. Thus far with our seven truck fleet, we've seen an average availability of 92%. Availability has been really good. The numbers started coming out and, and it is quite a bit more productive than the diesel trucks. And as we started to have a bigger fleet, then more and more employees were like, oh yeah, this thing's way faster, it's way quieter. I feel a lot more comfortable at the end of the day. And it also has a really good ESG aspect to it. We're reducing thousands of tons of carbon from our operation. We're able to consistently achieve 14 kilometers an hour up ramp travel speeds while loaded with the Z50s compared to around 9 to 10 kilometers an hour loaded up ramp with the existing diesel fleet. We're seeing added value across the board when it comes to our production, the speed of those trucks, the cycle times on them. If we have a fully loaded Z50, we're in the 43, 44 ton range. So you're looking at double the tons at X amount of time faster up ramp. That's a huge bonus for us. You're providing your workers a cleaner environment to work in and a more productive environment. So why not? Right? It's a no-brainer for us. Total hours on a Z50 is probably around 1,100 or so. I enjoy the quiet in the cab for sure, way, way more. Although I do use earplugs still, I'm less tired, less fatigued by the end of the day because of that background sound is gone. We're able to show market improvements in productivity in addition to the environmental benefits. In total, we've removed over 3,200 horsepower of diesel-powered equipment from underground through the transition from diesel trucks to electric. By replacing our diesel trucks underground at the Bruce Jack mine, we were able to save the hauling of almost 5,000 liters of diesel fuel per day up over the glacier, which is a significant safety improvement for us. There's a capital cost that comes with making the switch, but looking like three to five years down the road, I think everyone's gonna wanna say they had swapped over sooner, and I think the time's now to do so. For companies that are interested in battery electric technology, I highly recommend that they reach out to Sandvik and start the discussion now to get in line and start their own battery electric journey. Sandvik for us has been a great partner to work with, 
and help us along the design, implementation, and execution of the battery electric project at the Bruce Jack Mine.